Hi, Virgo. This is Jeffrey. This is right color. Uh, this is your reading for the month of June 2021. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. There. I'm trying to talk a little bit more slowly. More slowly. Um, what did I want to say? I said that. Oh, I have a line of astrology t-shirts and stickers, which are available on my website. My website is Ripe Color. I also am a textile artist and I paint on uh, scarves and bags and all sorts of lovely, lovely things. I do little paintings. So please go check them out. Instagram, you want to see a very pretty feed. I have a very pretty feed, I have to say. It's very pretty. Very colorful. Um, go check that out too. I appreciate your support. And Virgo, let's see what's going on for you for the month of June. It's very, um, in a little while, and it's kind of you know, sometimes before the rain, kind of, sometimes I hate the rain, and sometimes it's like, hmm, it feels good. It feels like, I don't know, we're being nourished or something. Okay, one, two, three, and it feels like that today. I mean, in an hour, it should be like, yeah, I hate the rain. <laughs> but right in this moment, it feels really good. This is nice. This is nice. Good cards. Okay. Very nice. Look at how lovely. Okay, I just got a little hit. You might be planning on moving to be with the one you love. Yeah. That's one hit. Creativity, man with the plan. Ready to execute the plan. It's a really well-formed plan. It really makes sense. It's solid. It's He's thought about it. Oh, two seconds. I'm waiting for a delivery. Oh, let's hope it's my delivery. Because, you know, all these delivery guys, they just want to get rid you know, they just want to empty the truck, which I get because, you know, they can't go home until they empty the truck. So they just press any button and they just drop into the hallway and see what happens. Okay. I mean, I get a partnership. I get a loving partnership, uh, equanimity. The thing that always strikes me, healing. This is, is a real healing going on. There's a real healing going on. Nourishing. You know, as I was talking about the thing, I was like, this is going to come out of the reading. I just kind of felt it. Nourishing, kind, loving, healing, uh, intuitive, like a profound uh, understanding. If this is a love reading, it's really nice. It's really nice. This also is a card of nourishment. This also is a card of healing, of abundance, um, the summer. But this is like the, the sun's rays nourishing the planet, right? Helping everything to grow and to be full, clear. This is really nice. So if you're not planning on running away with the one you love, it's in the air. It's in the air. No. Um, maybe you met the one you love, maybe they're around and it's in the, it, it, this could also, if it's not a romantic reading, then it's, it's a reading of a really profound, I feel like it's a soul connection. 
That's the way it feels. It feels like it's a soul connection. So a soul connection isn't always necessarily romance. Sometimes, you know, you can have a soul connection with your business partner. You can have a soul connection with your, uh, with your really good friend, you know? And it's like, you get me, I get you. We love doing stuff together. All we ever do is laugh. All we ever do is goof around and laugh. It doesn't even matter what we do. You know, like we're playing cards, you're three cards missing and it's like, whatever. You always win, you cheater, you know? And you throw shit, and you throw things at them and you know, all you do is laugh. Like that's the way it feels. It feels really loving and kind and uh, nourishing and um, heartfelt. That's the way it feels. It feels really, really lovely and uh, comforting, like comforting. Like, you know, nourishing is one thing, comforting. That, that's the way it feels like, you know, we're buddies, we do everything together. Like, I like, you know, if you're having a bad day, I'm there for you. If I'm having a bad day, you're there for me. Maybe we decide to have a bad day together, you know. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's like that, that's the way it feels. That's the way it feels. That's the way it feels. And, um, and also, and threes are about creativity. Threes are about creativity. Um, and, you know, I'll tell you why a three is about creativity. Okay, let's, let's do a little symbolism. Let's do a little symbolism. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> so in many, many, many cultures, there's a triplicate Godhead. And what that's about, right? This is not a good drawing, but pretend it is. This, this is called the Vesica Pisces, you see? So it's two interlocking circles. Circles are about completion. Circles are about wholeness. These two interlocking circles, <clears throat> it's kind of the duality in the, on the earth plane, right? Dark and light, night and day, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I can give you a million examples. I'm sure you can come up on your own. So what happens is the two of them meet and they form something new. And this is basically the womb. You know, this is also divine geometry. This is like the beginning of the flower of life. So this is basically the womb. So this, sometimes you'll see a saint in this almond shaped thing, and that's what it's about. It's called a mandorla, like an almond. So the question is, are that both the male and the female or the duality energy coming out of the womb, right? And the answer is yes. And when the male and the female energy combine, do they form a new life? The answer is yes. Is it this or is it that? Yes, yes. Is the answer A or B? It's like a little, little um, thing, you know, when you're a kid in school. Is the answer A or is the answer B? Or is the answer A and B? D, it's D, A and B, or yeah, whatever. <laughs> Good thing, we didn't get into E and F. We got into E and F, then I could take you on this really mystical journey. Um, so, that's what threes are about. That's what threes are about, that's why the three is the creative energy. And sometimes the combination of two people, of two souls, creates a child in a way, right? It doesn't even have to be a sexual thing. It creates, like the relationship itself is its child. The interaction between the two of them, they, they bring the best of both what they have to offer and they put it into so this, that's the energy. It's, it's really nice. Makes me wish I, I mean, I have Virgo rising, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just go downstairs wearing something really disgusting, which I never do, never. You know, 
of the Virgo rising thing. And it's like, no, I don't go onto the street in my pajamas like an animal. You might, and that's fine for you. Anyway, um, you know, so I don't know, there I'll be, you know, stand online, picking my nose, minding my own business. Someone will come up to me and say, would you like to move overseas because you're my soul name? So sure. Anyway, um, it, it's a nice energy. So like dive in, dive in. Now, if, you know, part of you is saying, oh, well, you know, they ain't gonna have for me because, oh, 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 oh. okay. I'm, I'm kind of the same way, I get it. This could be the energy of you with your inner self. This could be the energy of you with your higher spirit. This could be the energy of you with your guardian. So if it's not another person, that energy, it's the energy of you incorporating yourself, you incorporating your higher dimension. Now it really gets deep. So, expect to be pregnant by the end of the month with some new idea, some new creativity, some new abundance. Whether it's self impregnation, impregnation, mystical impregnation, or physical, whether you're a man or a woman. Blessings.